welcome back to another video. I am starting this weekend vlog on Friday night. It is, I don't know what time it is, 5.30. It has been a day, let me tell you. I have been out the entire day with my mom, running her errands, doing all things, and I'm tired. Just got home, had some leftovers, and Madison and I are actually going to be decorating the cookies that you saw me make in my last video. I made a ton of cookies for Paisley's birthday. She will be one on February 6th, which is crazy, crazy that it's been a whole year. Um, but her party is tomorrow, so I made a bunch of cookies. It took me a while, and I started out making these one cookies, but they just were gigantic. And I thought, that's a little, that's a little much. So I also had another cookie cutter that was smaller. So I went with a bunch of these, and then it's kind of like a Valentine's theme, so... I made a bunch of hearts. So we're going to decorate these tonight. Thankfully, she came over to help. And then I'm going to make some cupcakes. Super simple. Um, Danielle actually brought me this party rainbow chip. So we're going to make this one. I got some pink cupcake liners. And then we're going to decorate them. I'll make some homemade icing. And they got like all kinds of sprinkles. So we're going to figure out how to make them cute. And then I'm going to make icing for the cookies too. So I thought that I would share all that in this video. I'm not, I'm going to vlog for her birthday, but I'm going to probably just make like a video for like michael and danielle of her party but i'll throw in a few clips for y'all to see too but the main video i will make for them for for their own you know for a keepsake for her first birthday but i'll share a few clips and tomorrow we're going to get there a little bit early we have to make if you saw her wedding no her her baby shower video we made like two big balloon arches we're going to do another one of those in the morning so um, I'll share all that, all the decorating and everything, how it turns out. I don't know all the decorations she got. She sent a picture of the balloon she got. They're super cute. It's kind of like I said, like a Valentine's theme. I think like pink, purple, red, white are the colors. So it'll be super fun. I mean, we've talked about her first birthday party for a long time and here we are already. I can't believe she's gonna be one. I got the cupcakes baking so that made one box makes like 18 cupcakes um so i'm gonna make i got this little mold at hobby lobby and they're real thick but i'm gonna make them real thin just little hearts with red they're gonna have little red hearts so the cupcakes are gonna be pink they have the pink liners and then they're gonna have white icing with a little red heart and then we're gonna also sprinkle some of this white sugar on top so they'll be sparkly Madison helped me decide what to do. Then these big ones are going to have lavender wow. icing with like these sprinkles, these two. And then we'll do pink hearts with probably these and maybe some of those as well. And then the little ones are going to have white icing with little red, white, and pink sprinkles. So we got lots of cookies to decorate. Super fun. So is this the pink you chose? So these are all, this I got from Hobby Lobby. What is it called? Fuchsia. This is violet. And then we'll just make white. Anytime I use these candy wafers, I always um, try to let, let you know <laughs> if you've never used them before. Melt them in 30 second increments. Don't put them in for two minutes or you will burn them. And then they will not work. So I don't think I need, I don't think I need that many. So I'm going to do 30 seconds at a time and stir it in between each time. All right, so I think I did this for like a minute and a half total. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and 30 seconds.
So I made, I actually added a little bit more powdered sugar. I wanted this to be pretty thick. Cause the thicker it is, the quicker it dries. And then the like, I feel like the neater it is, oops, sorry. It doesn't run down the sides. And then, yeah, the white one was already pretty thick. See, so this is already like, oh, yeah. we gotta use it quick. Um, so we're just gonna decorate these and we're watching Love on the Spectrum, Madison's favorite Netflix show. She's obsessed with it. She keeps telling me I need to watch it. So we have that and we're just gonna have a cookie decorating party. The cupcakes are out of the oven. So once we're done with this, we'll make the icing for that and decorate those. All right, our cookies turned out so stinking cute. These are just adorable. We're gonna put them in little bags individually and wrap, and then they have like a little sticky. I'll show you. This one I did. This one we did different. We went ahead and, or we did like the colorful sprinkles and then the purple too. And we decided to just go with purple. So this one is extra, but that's what they're gonna look like with the little baggies. So people can take them with them if they want. Um, and then Madison's popping the little red hearts. These are little candy melts. I'm going to make, she's popping them out. Those are going to go on the cupcakes. I'm going to make homemade buttercream with just butter. What is it? Powdered sugar, a little milk, and almond flavoring. And I'm probably going to add the very last of this uh, vanilla too. And then just get it to the right consistency. I only need, I don't need a whole big batch. So I'm probably just going to use one stick of butter. <laughs> all right it's all done got the kitchen cleaned everything is ready we're just letting everything making sure all of the icing is really dry some of them we put in the bags too soon and the little the little red ones ran but it's not a big deal at all we just were in a rush to get them in so um i know i hear you chloe but it only happened with these white ones the ones we did at the end but they're fine they're gonna definitely taste delicious I know my Chloe. Are you hungry? It's been a long day and I'm going to say goodnight, but I'll pick the camera back up tomorrow when we are at the, the birthday party. All right, it's party day. We're at the church. 
So, um, it's a little crazy. We're gonna be setting everything up. So I'll get some clips of that and show you. It looks so cute already though. party and it's almost five o'clock so by the time we you know ended and cleaned up I took my mom home brought everything in it's almost five o'clock it's almost dinner time but I um that was so fun of course Paisley's first birthday such a big birthday such an important day and I filmed a whole lot for them Michael and Danielle I'm giving them I think I told you that just gonna give them a little like thumb drive with a video on it so they can always have a video of her first birthday but I showed y'all some clips of it too. It was so much fun and so hard to believe. Her actual birthday is next Tuesday and I'll be babysitting her that day so I'll get to see her on her actual birthday. So we're gonna, it is exactly five o'clock. Merritt actually had to run back out but Jackson and I are home and I'm just gonna make something easy. We did eat at the party but that was hours ago. So I have like leftover mac and cheese, uh, not mac and cheese. Drop up. I can't talk. Spaghetti and leftover Mississippi chicken. So we're just gonna eat that. I need, do need to throw some laundry in because I know I have at least four loads to do this weekend. You got one cookie? Okay, there we go. You have to make Jackson has an event tomorrow, and I'm supposed to make Rice Krispie treats. So I'm gonna make a bunch of those real quick. And then I'll let those cool so that I don't have to do that after church. That'll just be too much after church tomorrow. So I'm going to do that and then throw some laundry in. And then I'm going to sit. Sunday morning I am wearing the same coat as yesterday but not the same outfit so 
just want to let you know I'm not, not re recycling yesterday's outfit. Um, the it's like fit, it's gonna be like 55 and sunny like for like a week straight, so it's not like super cold where you have to wear it like you know bundle up and it's not warm though. So anyway, um, so this like light denim jacket is nice. I today we're gonna go to church and then probably grab some lunch. Then I need to go to Once Upon a Child and make a return and I want to maybe grab something for Paisley because her actual birthday is Tuesday and she'll be here with me. I thought that'd be fun to just have a little gift for her, something she could keep here and open on her birthday because I'll have her all day that day. So um, also I need to like finish my laundry, do the dishes, all the things. I need to edit, never did that. So it's gonna be a busy day. Down with church, we're at Burger King. We're gonna have a quick lunch, and then Marion's gonna go. Everything we need is like in the shopping center, so we decided to eat here. He's gonna get a haircut, and then I'm gonna go to Once Upon a Child. Oh, that looks like. Is that what Paisley got yesterday? I think that's exactly what she got yesterday. No, it's that same little door. Then, and I saw the top was like that. Yeah. Got a few toys to give to her on her birthday. We're just killing time till Marion's haircut appointment. So we stopped in Goodwill. I find some great deals on toys at Goodwill. This is $2.99. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Oh, that's kind of pretty. $4.99. That's cool for five bucks. That's cute. It's five dollars also. It's a little soccer and basketball. That's only two dollars. A little right on. How much is that? $2.99. That's really cute. I'll just have to clean them. It's kind of cute for July 4th. Seems like everything's $4.99. I know, it's like they're a Hallmark. They're like $4.99 for all these. I actually have the 13. There's an 11, wow, 12. These are nice. Taco holder, I don't know. Oh, $1.99. That's really cute. I like the plaid. $2.99. a cute little spring wreath. Bunny tray. Okay, we are home. And you're so excited. You already went outside once. You already went outside once. We ended up just canceling Marion's haircut appointment because every time it's like it's at Great Clips, and every time you put your name in, then it, you know, bumps you, you bumps you up to the top, and it said it was gonna be like a, an hour and 20 minutes, and we had waited like over an hour, I think, and it still said like 54 minutes because it kept moving it up. So we were like. Forget it. He's gonna take Jackson out in a little while and drop him and he'll probably just run by and do it then because that was just way too long. So I just thought to show you a couple little things. So I had bought Paisley this, did I tell you? I can't remember. A little tackle box and it was so cute. And it, Michael loves fishing, Danielle, Danielle's family. So I thought it'd be perfect, but I got it home and it was missing the fishing pole. So I took it back and they only give you exchange. So I went ahead and just got her a few little toys. So, cause I can always use more toys. We have that many, but she spends a lot of time over here and I feel like she'll get bored. And if I can get like another basket and then just like alternate the baskets the days she's here, I feel like 
it'd be more fun for her, you know, she'll have more fun. So I got a little um, purse. This one was $1.50. I know it comes with stuff. This one doesn't have it, but Danielle said she loves to put things inside of things. So she can put little things in there and that'll be fun for her. And then I got this little, I think it's a cash register. It's cute. It makes noise. It pops up. It lights up all the little things. It's adorable. This was $5.50. And then this one was $4.50. It is a puppy dog pals it's just like a little dog carrier and it has a dog inside of it she loves dogs and cats and animals and it may be a little over her head right now but eventually she'll like that um, and then when we went to goodwill we were just trying to kill time and marion found we ended up getting these blocks that i showed you they're stackable you know you pull them out and you stack them on top of each other i need to clean them and then one corner was a little loose but he said he can fix that and then i got this it's the airy brand it's a medium i just got it for me it looked like it would fit they don't let you try on anymore but it's just kind of like a tunic length i don't know if it's men's or women's but i haven't tried it on hopefully it fits i love that color do you need to go back outside again this is what they do when we come home they go out multiple times multiple times okay but i gotta keep the laundry going i've got one load in the dryer almost done so i'm gonna put this one in and probably gonna change out of my church clothes, put on something comfy. So I saw this thing on Facebook and it said if you squeeze some Dawn dishwashing soap in the bottom of your washer or just in your washer, I forgot to do it before, but it makes your car, your clothes like so much cleaner, they smell clean. The whites are whiter, brighter, so I did it with a load that was pretty grungy the other day and I loved how it worked. So I'm going to just squirt a little bit of this in and then I also saw She's in Her Apron recently did a video and she said you actually only need two tablespoons of laundry soap. So I'm going to try a little bit of this and less laundry soap, see if everything gets just as clean. I always put a full cap full in because I can fit a whole lot in this washer. So we'll see. I'm going to test it out. But I'm going to put some of this in first. And I actually liked the results this time, so does it work? I don't know, but if you have really, really dirty clothes, they say it works really great. So I opened these up and just in case you have this toy and you're like, no Erica, that is not a cash register. It's actually like a Polaroid camera. <laughs> you look through there, push the button, your picture comes out. So cute. That's even cuter than a cash register. I felt I felt like my dogs were bored. So <laughs> do you ever put on YouTube TV for dogs? This is just dogs playing at doggy daycare. You see the doggies? You see the doggies? Huh? Yeah? You see doggies playing? They're confused. Clyde likes to watch YouTube for cats, but you can type in dogs, all kinds of dog videos or cat videos. I sat down to edit, and I think I sat there for like an hour and just looked at uh, pictures of Paisley's party and then posted on Facebook, posted on Instagram, and did zero editing <laughs> now. Um, it's after four my clothes are done in the washer and the dryer so I'm gonna switch the load over Marion went and took Jackson um, I'm gonna make dinner and I forgot to take my meat out for to defrost but I do have like sometimes I've showed you before I'll get like a pound of meat and not cook all of it or I'll cook all of it but not use it and I'll put some in the freezer and then when I do that a few times I have enough for a whole other meal so I have like some cooked ground beef it's frozen but it'll be easy to cook just a second so shouldn't be too difficult i'm gonna make homemade hamburger helper tonight so i've shared it before but i'll share it again um it's a recipe i saw from kristen's friends cooking she does, has a youtube channel so she does it in the crock pot i'm just gonna do it on the stove and it's super easy but it's tastes a lot like it tastes better way better than hamburger helper but um you know it's it's kind of like cheeseburger hamburger what is it called cheeseburger i don't know what you call it it's like pasta with cheese and meat and what is it cheeseburger macaroni i don't know why i couldn't think of that anyway that is for dinner so i'm going to start on that before too long has cooked for a little while so we're going to switch the laundry out and i'm going to let ollie out for the 75th time today you have the time of your life
if every single night the confetti's raining down You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd, you're the talk of the town And I tell myself I don't want that, what glitters sink gold I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own But I hate being on the outside, looking through a window I say I don't want it, but I'm so full of it I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody Be ooh-ooh-ooh-ooh I wanna be the life of the party I wanna hold on to somebody Be ooh-ooh-ooh-ooh Living your life through a lens perfect So this is my meat um, that I have cooked already. It, it's plenty for one one meal it's less than a pound but i don't you really use a pound unless i'm making like meatloaf or sloppy joe something where like the meat is the main thing but what i'm going to add stuff to it i definitely don't use a pound so i'm just going to let that sit out for a little while it's only 4 30 so just let it get a little bit defrosted all right so it is actually a little while later i was trying to do some editing this has been sitting out for a while um i'm just going to throw everything into this pot I will link a video down below, uh, the video, Kristen's video down below. She did it in the crock pot. Like I said, I'm just doing it in here. You can do whatever you want to do, but i um, just going to basically throw, I do need to cook my pasta. And I actually don't think I have heavy cream, what you need, but I'm just going to use milk. I'm just going to make it work. And I'm going to put it all in the crock pot and kind of like let it just melt the cheese and everything. And then it's ready. Like I, once I cook the pasta, it's just kind of like a dump it in. And if you put it in a crock pot, even easier. I need to refill some of my seasonings. They're totally out. to put the cheese in later or the pasta in later just to melt the cheese and then put the pasta in later but we're just gonna go with it can't take it out now so I'm just gonna like melt down the cheese and then I actually do have heavy cream so I'm gonna add some of that and then we'll add some cheddar cheese at the end and just let it I feel like I need more I feel like I need more tomato sauce I might add some more we'll see once everything is melted down and I add the heavy cream we'll see if I need to
say goodbye thank you so much for hanging out with me for the last three days i hope you enjoyed coming along with us to paisley's birthday party i appreciate you guys so much for watching always coming back with your sweet comments all your support it means the world to me and i love you all so much make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye